back at it one more time for you people on this good saturday evening this is talk yo shit let's get it all right now tonight's show is going we you know we gonna get a little spicy tonight because uh we whether y'all know it or not we got viewers out there that actually send us some of the craziest shit and we hear some of the craziest stories so we you know we th this is the red flag show because uh it's a bunch of drama. It's gonna, it's gonna be a bunch of spicy shit. So put the kitties to bed. Get yourself a glass of wine. You know what I'm saying? And get ready to hear the tea because it's time to talk your shit tonight. So we gonna start it off with uh, some of these uh, great stories that we didn't heard and uh, only the panel didn't heard probably. So let's get to it. All right, guys, just know that these are unanimous, so we don't know who they're from. Y'all don't know who they're from, but we're going to talk our shit, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so, y'all ready? The first talk. letter. I'm sorry? I said talk your shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first letter says, my tiny husband. It says, dear UTR, first off, I want to say that I love my husband. He is the most kind and gentle man I have ever known. When we met, we dated for a year without having sex. We had never seen each other naked until marriage. After we got married and before we started having sex, my husband admitted to me that he was smaller than normal, if you know what I mean. But my husband, but I love my husband, but my husband is the size of a five-year-old boy. Those were his doctor's words, not mine. Yes, we went to a doctor and the doctor said that nothing could be done. We have been married for now for seven years and I'm frustrated as heck. I confided in my ex-boyfriend and he has offered to help me out sexually. But I know my husband would be devastated if he found out I'm upset with the fact that my husband waited until I was deeply in love with him to tell me about his shortcomings. So, would I be wrong to get some action on the side every once in a while? I do love my husband, but I have needs. What should I do? Please help. Okay. Uh <laughs> you was Ooh, right about the what? spicy one. The, the, All right, y'all. What are your thoughts? Try and be anyone. First and foremost um it well the first red flag for me is they're not seeing somebody to the married night <laughs> so are you saying not testing it out before you commit to it you ain't doing well it. well i mean you can say that because i mean before you buy a car you test drive it right <laughs> i mean that's true I'm just, I'm just saying because like it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. Like, and then let's just say hypothetically, if the shoe was on the other foot, and like the, 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 the honey pot wasn't very great, and he was telling this story, then what would? I don't know. And Talk that shit. I mean. Ugh. It's one of those weird situations because it's like you understand people waiting until marriage. You know, you want you keep a balance to yourself and it's just it's just what some people do. However, you run the risk <laughs> of having someone who, like Gerald said, either if it's you know, if it's the females, you know, bad honey pot, or 
a man with a micro penis. Like you run the risk of, you know, ending up with someone like that when you don't experience them sexually beforehand. So it's like, I don't know. But all I'll say this though, that whole ex thing, no. No, no, no. If you're gonna sit here and do that, you might as well if it's if it's that bad that you feel like even though it was offered by him, but if she was to decide that she wanted to actually go ahead and do that shit, then there's no point of you being in the situation because it's that bad to point that you got to step out of your marriage to have sex with somebody else. I feel okay. like she in the wrong all the way around. You don't go talking to your ex about your husband because guess what? Mm-hmm. He an ex for a reason. One, two. You know damn well he gonna try to etch his way back in there to get it somehow. So you telling him this, you file as fuck for it. That's that's just off top. I don't care how what nobody say. Off top. That that is a definite. I agree. Like, Talk your shit for it. That is a definite. Like this is my thing. Like there's so there's so many red flags in that story. Like like you you best. Like you're basically broadcasting his business to a source that doesn't really need to know. First of all, second of second of all, second of all, you waited till marriage to see each other in, in in their in their birthday suits. I don't I don't think that to even in today's generation that would not fly. At well, all. I mean, like, I understand the, I mean, even though I said what I said earlier, I do understand the whole thing. Let's wait till marriage because, you know, for whatever, for, for the simple fact, because you, you're not sure of where it could lead to and you don't want to be, you don't want to have that many bodies on your, uh, on your body, basically. But to a same extent, it's like, you know what I mean? But then you stayed with this man, even after being after finding out he's not endowed as people would say <laughs> and that's one way of putting it he, he he's not uh in like you know he, he he's not heavy structured he's not hung low so um now it's kind of like you know, you're going to be complaining, oh, girl, the, the best thing about him was the ceremony. He, he, he knew the dick, he knew the dick in here. Like, that makes no sense. And you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, it, 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 it's horrible. It, it, it's horrible. So, but to a degree, I agree with the rest of the panel. But at the same time, it's like, it, 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 it is her fault because she stayed. But do I think she should have divorced him? It's kind of like, ugh. Like, so you just in this bad situation for the rest of your life because, and you're going to be sexually frustrated. But there are, I'm pretty sure there are other ways this man can possibly sexually please you without using his personal flesh to, <laughs> you know, like, I, I ain't going to front it. Had it been me, shit. I'll be doing I'll be doing with the with the ABC community do I strap on fuck it. <laughs> no way. I mean they do have actual extenders. Well well evidently that would hurt a man's ego if it's like, hey, you know what, babe? Sure. <laughs> It was. Let's go ahead and go to the store. <laughs> you either go to you either go to extend or you go be you go you go be paying money out your pocket for the, for the you gonna be alimony in it. You, Okay, before, okay, Aaron. before I give my remarks, can you read the question? Can you read the statement again for the latecomers and for those who kind of? Uh, oh, you want me to read read it all? Okay, I'm hold sorry. On. I'm, I'm sorry. Just for the late people and for those who kind of um, comprehension a little bit slower than other people. Not saying that to me or anybody watching the show right now, but you know, if it is you. you okay, know, hold on, because I have pulled up the other one. Most, but most importantly, but, but most importantly, people just like I say, kind of like, comment, and subscribe to the page. And, we definitely got uh, some comments. We got a few. Okay, hold on. And also, we will be putting out the box so y'all can tell us y'all stories. We, you know, very soon we will be putting that out. So oh, you yeah. know, you and uh, remember that everything will be anonymous. Your name will not be spoken, and etc. So just remember that we will be doing these type of shows later on in the near in the very very near future. So. You know, we will be putting out the box as I stated earlier and continue, Professor. All right, let me read this again for you guys one more time. 
<laughs> it says, first off, I want to say that I love my husband. He is the most kind and gentle man I have ever known. When we met, we dated for a year without having sex. We had never seen each other naked until marriage. After we got married and before we started having sex, my husband admitted to me that he was smaller than normal, if you know what I mean. But my husband, but I love my husband. His size is the size of a five-year-old boy. Those were his doctor's words, not mine. Yes, we went to a doctor and the doctor said that nothing could be done. We have been married now for seven years and I'm frustrated as heck. I confided in my ex-boyfriend and he has offered to help me out sexually, but I know my husband would be devastated if he found out I was upset. If he found out I'm upset with the fact that my husband waited until I was deeply in love with him to tell me about his shortcomings. So would I be wrong to get some action on the side every once in a while? I do love my husband, but I have needs. What should I do? Please help. And I got a question to the men in the in the in the uh <laughs> not the panel. Gerald, Gerald, wait. Let let Aaron get his comment off before you ask that question. Let him let, let him say I'm what he's gonna say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm Go sorry. Ahead. All right, so I, I agree with everything y'all y'all said previously. Um <laughs> But secondly, I gotta look at, look at it from the other side of the shoe. Like, does true love truly exist anymore? Because at the end of the day, um, if he if he checks off all your boxes, except for he doesn't please you sexually, is that really worth you throwing your marriage away? Especially without you know without his knowledge, you know, like would you really go behind his back just because he doesn't satisfy you sexually? However, obviously he's doing something right because you're still with him seven years down the road from it, you know. Thanks. But you know, I. I I kind of admire that they dated for a full year. They didn't wait no time after that first year to get married. Married. I kind of admire that type of stuff, but for the fact that now that you see a problem in the in the bed department, that you're willing to, to jump off the the roof, you you want to throw away your whole marriage just because this dude got a small pecker, and that that really bothers me. Um, I, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> <laughs> it was Woody Woodpecker. Oh, oh, oh well, well, let's let's go to the comments, y'all. All, All <laughs> right, let's go to the comments. I lost my train of thought. Stacy oh, in the I'm building, and she said, "Here, hey, Stacy, uh, Omega in the building. What up, Omega? Finally yes. caught us. Omega was good. Yes. Of course, had to like coming and share. Um." Let's see. Stacy said, "Yes, you are wrong. You took a vile head to the nasty store and grab a strap." Oh, you are nasty. Thank you. The extensions. Oh my. <laughs> Z said, "What up, Z? She in the building too." Hey, Z. Hey. The discussion to marry was made without testing the equipment. I feel like if you're not happy, divorce and move on. Whoa! God damn it, that woman. <laughs> <laughs> He had it upstairs, he. Verbal, um, poetic. I can't even say it right now. I'm sorry, verbal. But he Tell in the me. building. Me. He said, you got to test drive first, especially if you've been having sex before and know what you like. Stacy also says, let's get to it. Z said, she doesn't have the, she doesn't have the right to get any on the side because the commitment was made. They need to find alternatives or let the marriage go and just be friends since she loved him so much. We just the right in the building and she said, yo. That's all the comments. Um so, let me ask y'all a question. Right, Does she ahead. deserve to be put in the corner? Please put it in the comments. Put corner. If she deserves to be put in the corner panel, what do you say? Let's see. Take that ass in the corner, please. Oh, wait, to the corner. To the corner. <laughs> you are out of here. <laughs> you are out of here. You are a fucked up individual. But she, she, my she question, my question, corner. but here's my question to the fellas on the panel and to the fellas in the in the comments. If you know that you are not well endowed, you're not heavy structured, you're not hung low, you pu you pull your shit out and she still can't see it. Um are you wrong for not letting her know of this and on and, and, and let's take and let's put the shoe on the other foot too ladies if you are not if your sexual organs aren't all the way up to par if you are a little loose than what you're supposed to be are you 
are you entitled to tell this man what you were beforehand or do you keep it a secret and he has to find it out on your wedding night okay but here's the thing okay that's a little bit different let me explain why let me explain why i'm not not mad go ahead (sighs) what may be loose to one person may but may not be loose to the next but what is small to one person is small to everybody right unfortunately Mm. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing. I, I, I don't penis know. Penis and vagina come in all sizes, right? Facts. Right. Yeah. So you may have a small penis to her big vagina, or you may have a big penis to her small vagina. Now, here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. To the smaller man, you were loose. To the bigger man, you were tight. It just depends. Yeah, but you can also have a big cooter cat, a big honey pipe. So to Our big uh, so so like I said, that's like a lobster trying to swallow an ant. So let so I don't know if can we we not use any of your metaphors tonight? Because that sure ain't it. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying to draw that image in my head like. I think we I, all I'm, I'm lost. We all was lost. Don't worry. I don't care about you being lost. Mm-hmm. But go ahead, Heaven. I know you're trying to say something. No, I mean, okay. So I know we had a discussion before, but let's equate it to again a woman maybe having a certain deformity in the area. And you don't know about it until the night of, and you see Let that. No, no, no. See, because she playing. You what talk if? Your talk your shit, put. Go ahead, it. Say, go ahead and say. Go ahead and say straight up. What if the woman's clitoris was not a normal clitoris? What if that thing was gigantic, and she can tell you, and you are a man who loves to please a woman with your mouth, right? Are you going to go down there and <laughs> suck that motherfucker? Because she got the size of a, a clitoris of a. Five-year-old oh. penis? Yeah, of a micro penis. Are you going to suck it? Or are you going to be like, nah, I can't do that and get the fuck on? That's you, the question. The, oh, is this question being asked or this is just... That, like, that's being asked. This is being asked to the men in the comments the and on the panel. Mm. Mm. Would I suck it if you had a big clitoris? Being perfectly honest here, being honest, because like I said, Cause like everyone, as everyone stated in the comments and on this panel, we're already married. I done already said I do. I done already got drunk. I done already did the electric slide with my family. So <laughs> at this particular point, <laughs> yes, I would honestly, because it's like I'm not about to let a deformity that you really had no control that, of. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not about to let a deformity that you have no control over the to um take control over me to where especially if like Aaron said earlier you check off every other box for me as a man and what I'm looking for in my queen at the end of the day so I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I have to do um sexually to please you because that may be her only way of uh how should I say getting that spark in her life you know is to ring that bell at the end of the day so for me, I would, I would honestly. So, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If Gerald was single and not married, and y'all was dating, and you had a penis clitoris to make you happy, he was sucking. There you go. There you go. There you go. Be wrong. Till my mouth is dry. How about that? Jesus. <laughs> answering it. Answering oh. it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm answering the question made my made, made my tongue dry though. But. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. Oh, Lord. You don't want to hit pause back? There, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, we talking about a woman, bro. And we yeah, didn't say, you know we, what? We, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. We, we did not go and say this person was. No, you, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead, Meech. Give, give, give your point. Because I know you're dying oh, yeah. to give it. Uh, well, so you ain't got your beads on tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Yeah, I, I got to rock the cross tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. But, but, uh, but honestly, honestly, I wouldn't look at that as a deformity because for me, it's because for me, I fell in love with the I fell in love with the woman. I fell in love with her heart. I fell in love with her spirit. Any kind of any kind of deformity that she may have, it's it's out the door for me. So so if she has like if the clear is like a little little bit of extra fat down there, I'm will I'm will. I'm willing to look past that because, because from, like I said, I fell in love with the woman. I fell in love with how she makes, how she makes me feel internally at the end of the day. That was beautiful. <laughs> I don't know about the extra fat part. But okay. Was- okay. Let me get to the comments because I'm not going to deal with you today. <laughs> Um, it's and it's a lot of comments. Um, so is it? Stacy said, "Hey Z." Omega said, "To the corner." Stacy, I'm not playing with you with your aunt and your lobster. <laughs> Z said, <laughs> "Z said, this is why you test drive before you make a commitment. You date before marriage. You view a house before you buy, and you read contracts before you sign. Test, test, test." What? Well, well, time, 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 time out. So, so why are you talking about give a divorce then? <laughs> You want to be friends. <laughs> you wrote this. St- nothing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, thank you for the um, we moving on. I'm not going to go there with you. Verbal said, um, I ain't sucking that shit. I got toys for that. Cool. <laughs> Stacy said, my mama said Jay is giving good answers. And she's got a crying uh, emoji. <laughs> What's up, mom? Um, <laughs> May Love said... Wait, so they never even discussed sex or their likes and so forth in a whole year. None of that came up. You can choose to abstain from sex until marriage, but I find it hard to believe that this wasn't a topic at some point. So all I'm saying, and Stacy said fact, she's agreeing to what you said, May Love. Yeah, that's that's big hmm. facts. Okay, yeah. Let's get on to the next story. Please. Y'all kind of dance oh. around at the end, though, just let y'all know. Like, y'all didn't answer that question the way it was posed, but we'll go on to the next, though. I I, I answered the way I thought I should have answered it. No, no, no. I, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about the, talking about the fellas. Oh, Cause, oh cause okay. it, it was, I, I answered the question. Oh, 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 hold on. I gave my, I gave my answer. Mean, I, 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 I said, I said, I said, you're the only one that didn't answer. Yeah. Okay, we, can, we can go on to the next one, because I think uh, me, <laughs> Oh, no, oh, 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 you want to, oh, you want to get on my head? I'm about yeah, to say this answer, answer was beautiful, but I think I don't know if your answer is beautiful. So what is it? Mm-hmm. Man, Mario might as well know. If if we marry, if we get if we get married for true love and true love purposes only, it don't matter what you packing, what, what I'm packing, or what deformities or or any other uh, uh, extra unordinary things she got going on in, in her pants. I say that much. If I really love you, and I would like, like you said, we, you know, doing a cha cha slide with the family, <laughs> right? I, I buzz, I buzz down on the on this day. I, 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 I wobble, baby, wobble, baby, all that shit. No, man. If, if, if I, did, I don't. I, we're not, we're not getting married because of, we're not getting married because of sex or purposes. Although it is an added bit, it's, it's added added benefit. We didn't get married just because we can fuck all day every day. Now we could have done that without the ring on our fingers. Right. However, yeah. since we did, since we did choose to get married. I'm not about to just jump bridge because we don't get along chemistry wise down there. We can have to, like Marcus said in the comments, we got to get some toys up or Heather said extension, something like that, you know, have to work out, but we'll figure Thanks. it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next story. I have been married for almost three years now. My husband and I, and I are intimate at least four days every week. I like to keep things hot and spicy. Nothing is ever the same in the bed or wherever we choose to do it. I do all that I can to please him. And I may, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, we did answer that. Never mind. I'm sorry. Um, I do everything to please him as well. Our sex is always amazing, but he has confessed to being unfaithful during our entire marriage. He told me that he has been sleeping with women in our home, on our couch, in restaurants, and even in cars. 
Not to mention, one of the women he slept with was the only friend that I had. Well, at least I thought she was. He just can't get enough sex. I'm so lost and confused because he says that it is not me. He says he can't. He just can't help it. I can't seem to satisfy him. What should I do? Please help. Sounds like a fucking sex addict. Bro, bro is a sex fiend, to be honest. First of all, I just, just want to know. I just want to know. Did nobody First of all, me? did she beat the best friend ass? Is what I want to know. Yeah. I just wanna, honestly, all I want to know is what did they say in the back of Tony Romas when he was performing? That's all I want to know. Like, <laughs> Like damn, like in like in the restaurant, like really, like so you just I guess they were really mashed potatoes, wasn't they? <laughs> yeah, and it was, and it came to the table as a baked potato. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, if it had been me, honestly, I probably yeah that that this 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 marriage this that that marriage is over. Why? Because it's like you didn't already because one not only did you sleep with with a person in my marital home you've also like you've also you also slept with friends too now if you would have came to me and told me that you know whatever reason and this that, and the third we could have talked about it we could have tried to find a, the in, a possible solution or alternate as the people in the comments say but you didn't do that you admitted to me later after damage after the damage was done and me personally and me being emotional, I probably just, I probably would have lost it. So, uh, yeah, this marriage is over because you just, it's plenty of fish in the sea. You chose a friend of mine. Okay. Mm. You out of here. Okay. You heard that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, from my view, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you getting Jazzy Jeff the hell up out of here. I'm sorry, because it leaves it leaves a whole lot of questions after finding all that out. Like who, like you say you slept this this person, that person, that person, or it leaves a question like who else did you sleep with? One, one of my family members, one of my friends, so on and so on. Like it, it raises a whole lot of questions and possible red flags for me. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. After finding all that out, that you got extra mileage on your body in the home that we that we were supposed to be building. Oh no, you get just jipped the hell up out of here. Extra mileage in the home. So if it was outside the home, that would be okay. Is that what you're saying? Because I'm confused. I'm just saying, Heather, Aaron, yeah, answers. Um, <clears throat> that would be too huge of a bomb. Like through our whole marriage, our complete marriage, like that's something you can't you can't bounce back from that. Like it's just, and it, but mainly the home the home thing. That's what got me. It's like the fact that you would decide to bring somebody into our home that we share. Not even somebody, but multiple people. And I'm someone who believes in energy. So you bring bringing motherfuckers in here who I don't even know what their energy is. And you're just letting them drop that shit off <laughs> in my home. Like, it's just, it's disrespectful. And no, I would not be able to come back from that. Because again, our whole fucking marriage, not even just one, two, three, like all these bitches that you done took into the bathrooms. It, no, it would be a no for me. I'm very disappointed in all y'all because y'all not once have <laughs> mentioned that you broke your vow before God. Like we, uh, y'all right. over I'm here. Sorry. Right. That's true. the severity of true. it. It's the true. fact true. that you, true. you just think that though. Like no matter what, you can fuck around in a relationship, which you shouldn't, or marriage, you you shouldn't. You but really then they like you took a vow, should. you took an oath before God and say that, you know, through sickness and health to death do his part, and you broke that, and you have to live with that down for the rest of your life, like. Honesty is the best policy that's mm -hmm. been stated, stated on many shows. If you was upfront with your girl, your girl know how much of a sex addict you was. Your girl probably would have been down if you would have even told her, like, hey, what about we add some extra spice to this uh, marriage? How about we, you know, bring a, a third, fourth? How about we kind of think, think about other options to add to this, this situation? But, you know, mm -hmm. she, he took that, he took that 
option away from her by going ahead and, and cheating behind her back in her house and all these different situations, breaking her oath between God. And yeah, at this point, the marriage is done. You know, like, there's no coming back from that. Here's here's the thing. I feel like no matter if he brought it to her and she said no or she said yeah, he still wouldn't have been satisfied. Like because then he still would be sleeping with someone even though she's not there. Unless they say, okay, she said, well, you know, if I'm not there, then you can get it from this person. Other than that, I feel like he's still going to do it because it seems like he has a sex addiction. addiction. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, for one, you slept with my, my friend, my only one friend that I felt I was close with. So I'm beating her ass. But you got to go, and I might just call my cousins and my brothers to come handle you afterwards, because at this point, you don't have no respect for me at all. You at this, It, it shows me that you didn't love me. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. I'm calling a spade a spade at this point. Because if I'm doing everything for you sexually, and I'm spicing it up, and nothing is the same, and you're just saying to me, it's not you, but you're not telling me, well, then what is it? Because it's not me, then what is it? I find it's hard to believe that this is a, a new issue that they experienced after marriage. Like I'm sure she missed the red flags prior prior to marriage as well. And probably so. But for him yeah. to come out and tell her that is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so that, once, that just, once that just even, tells you he's been cheating. missed the red flags after he came out and told her, I still feel like it still would have continued. Like there wouldn't be nothing sure. to change that. You I, know what I, I feel like you know what I I feel saying? like if she if she would pay more attention to the red flags before marriage. There's a possibility she would never even walk down the aisle to this guy. Facts. I, Facts. This, this situation could have been totally avoided if if she would have paid maybe paid more attention. Maybe not. You know, some people are good at what they do, but I feel like there's always signs. This, this, a, this, or this, slip this up or something. Yeah, this behavior doesn't just happen out of nowhere. Like you just can't hit a light switch and all of a sudden he becomes this suicide or this this uh heretical heretical cheater or just the person who just wants to fuck everybody, including your best friend. So this doesn't just happen overnight. I just feel like this is a repeat behavior. It maybe she missed a sign or, or a flag somewhere. That's and I I'm still saying. feel like the best friend need her ass whooped. But that's just me. Well, we're gonna move on to the comments. <laughs> and we got a lot. Um oh. Stacy says, speak, Aaron. That was for the um the other show. I mean the other uh story. Yeah. Um Verbal said, Oh, that marriage is over. Stacy got the knives and the gun. You're gonna get cut oh. and shot at the oh, same time. Oh, she catching point. the case. Mm. Omega said he probably had a sex addiction. Addiction. I'm not for the cheating, but if she loves him and can deal with that type of shit, then couples therapy it is. And he needs his own therapy as well. But it's a no for me with the cheating. I feel you. Z says, sound like he needs professional help. And if not it's a done deal because whatever you do will never be enough facts Ooh. omega also said not to mention he could bring her back all types of diseases exactly um verbal says all the other shit i could probably work through but fucking a friend and fucking in the house i would just have to walk away uh derek is in the building he ain't been here in a minute we also know him as uh petty what up what's hey. up hey. Yo, what up d I like treating you. <laughs> okay. Stacy said vows mean absolutely nothing without the things that make them vows. I'm in the first place. Trust, honesty, trust, and communication. I'm just saying now, I think I mean, nowhere in the vows does it say to make me look like a fool. Indeed. Mm. And Verbal said, see, there is a deeper thing to this story. The wife might not be all that, and she was a beneficial marriage. And she brought a hoe. I need you to clarify that. <laughs> she brought a hoe. Where did she buy it from? Did she get it from Lowe's where other people got their dress from? No, she probably got it. He probably got it from Wish. Oh, that's even worse. Ooh. <laughs> Wish.com. Wish but Let me ask y'all this. Do we put his ass in the corner or not? What do y'all say? Mm -hmm. We put that nigga in the corner, but I'm gonna put him in the corner in the back next to the trash can that ain't been thrown away in about two weeks. Yeah, he gonna go in the corner. He, he back there with the raccoons in front of Wendy's on the 120th and Crenshaw. <laughs> 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 
That's that's where that nigga is. No. Oh my god, I can't. Mm. She kind of need to go sit you her ass thinking there. about this, Gerald? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. You better sleep with one eye open. For real. I don't go uh, to sleep. Stacey said, oh, no, he got to get out. Are you thinking or you got to sleep? <laughs> huh? Omega said, put him in the basement in the corner. Are you thinking or do you got to take a shit? I got to do that. And lock the basement door. <laughs> Omega, we got to talk. No, no, but no, 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 real shit though. He 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 must go to the corner. Uh, let me say, let me say this oh, real wait. quick though. I'll go ahead and then I'll uh, read what verbal meant by that. Some people, I heard some people say cheating is not um, is not a as a as a non-factor to them. So even though you cheat, there's some people who's willing to put up with cheating as long as they don't break other X variables in their in their in their marriage relationship. I mean, so that they're keeping the money in the house and not spending it elsewhere, those type I mean, of things. If that's part of your negotiation or that's part of your plan and that's spoken up front, then you know, people can look past cheating. Cheating that is now I heard some people say cheating not, is, is not a part of their non negotiables anymore. So with us being who we are, I know we all talk all the time. We all mind Think alike and mind like it. So I know we all say cheating is a non-negotiable that we're not willing to deal with. Um, if you was dating someone, they say cheating is a non-option, is 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 a non-option to them. Um, they look at the story very differently. So let me like, ask you a question. Uh, uh, uh it ain't cheating if you're eating. Is that what you're trying to say? Huh? I mean, so if if the the bills are paid, you drive around the car you want to drive around in. If you got all the materialistic things that you wish for in life, you're happy at you happy all the time. Except for this nigga can't keep his dick in his pants. Would you stay or would you leave? Mm, you just gonna play al- alimony. That's all. There, there it is. There. And here's the thing: I'm gonna wait the whole five years for him to pay it before I decide to get married. Oh, that's it. That's how alimony works. It either they pay up to five years or they stop paying once you get married. Uh, baby, I got a new man, but baby, we can't get married till I get all this extra money. Like, Sorry, let's wrap this up the first, and then we can put it towards the way. <laughs> 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 Let me right. get into these comments for a second, y'all. Um, Verbal said, as in, she married somebody that really didn't love her and was a hoe the whole time. He married her because she was a benefit to his life and he really never loved her. Okay, I get it. Stacy said, put him in an Inglewood cemetery. <laughs> and she also said, hey, Ke- uh, Kelly Alex. Hey, Kelly Alex. She said, hi, auntie. So that's her niece. So we said hi to Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Oh, girl. No. Um, Stacy also said, if you look too hard for the Bible, you are cheating. Oh, so I guess eating. Okay, so eating is cheating because if you look at your loan, that means you're trying to buy. I get it. Got it. Move it on to the next story. I wear glasses, so I know I crazy. So it is official that he is in the corner. Uh, uh, apparently he's in the Inglewood Cemetery at this point. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like you couldn't couldn't send him to what? What is that? Uh, flower, flower. Uh, what's what's the other cemetery? The nice cemetery called. For my forest lawn, yeah, that shit. Like, you can go, you can go to forest lawn, like, you can say a flower. Like, what? You can't upgrade him a little bit. Like, damn, like, you gotta sit him with every you gotta sit here with everybody in LA. Is that that's cold? Right, you can take that. You can take that. Narvity Cemetery as well. Okay, let me read this last comment, y'all, before I get into the story. And it says, uh, well, it's two. Kelly says, hey, y'all. Hello. Welcome. And then Verbal said, I've heard cheating is not a deal breaker as long as you don't bring the streets home. My point exactly. My point exactly. My point exactly. Okay, y'all ready? Let's get it. And this one is going to be called Veteran Side Chick, okay? Y'all ready? In the past, I was a side chick, and I ended up having a baby. I didn't feel like a side chick because he was at my house every day and every night and really thought he was the one. The shocker came one night after we had just been intimate. He rolled over and told me that he was getting married the very next day. I kept telling him to stop playing, but he was serious, 
and I was devastated. Of course, I wasn't invited to the wedding, but I showed up at the reception. I didn't cause a scene. I just sat at the bar while everyone watched and felt sorry for me because they knew how I felt about him. After his wedding reception, he and I were intimate. Yes, on his wedding night, I did it because I needed a little something to hold over his head. Don't get me wrong. When we started messing around, I had no intentions of marrying him. I was just enjoying the ride. You may think that I was wrong, but it felt right at the time. I threatened to tell his wife of our secret and I would make him give me hush money. Of course, he always paid me to stay quiet and it made me hate him even more. Eventually, I stopped messing with him. I have a child by him, so we still talk and see each other. So how do I stop hating him and move on with my life? It's been over 20 years, and I'm still stuck on this. Any advice? <laughs> yeah. Bro, you don't get the hell on. <laughs> first, first of all, 20 years? It's been over 20 years. What? Man. Man, was the dick that good? Was the dick that good? Oh, I'm sorry. Say it again, put. I said, was the dick that good? Was it bronze? Like, what? What was it? Because over 20 years, did he rearrange your ovaries in a way that nobody else could? And you just, I'm, I'm just, I think I know what it was though. What it was is that she wanted to be a just a sex thing, and she started falling for him. And because it was just a sex thing to both of them at the time, he found somebody else, and that's who he got with. And then her feelings were hurt because she started having feelings for him. But that's just me. Anybody else? <laughs> As I said, my thing is, if you thought that it wasn't going to be, or you wasn't, you didn't want it to go in that direction. Twenty years. <laughs> That's like majority of your life wasted. Like, why would you just no automatically? She's going to the corner. I ain't about to talk about this. <laughs> it, it, for me, it was just. And then, and then you want. I'm sorry. Wait, never mind. And then you want to try to extort money from this thing? No, she didn't try. She did. Well, she did. I'm just like, girl. Yeah, have several seats. Mm -mm. I, I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck did he get away during the wet night in order to perform this. Cause how was he cheating in the next room? Well, how how did that happen? I just would love you, to you know. Really, you really want to know? Room closet. You really want to know? Yes, please. He <laughs> left when he she went to sleep. Inspire you, me. <laughs> you seen the movie something straight about the Johnsons? On his wedding day, he 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 went away too for a while. Oh God! Please don't bring that up again. I don't, Why I don't you do that, that, Aaron? <laughs> I'm just, he, he, he wanted to know again and again. I wanted, no, no, no. He had the right to answer me. I wanted to know because I'm confused. But if, but how, but like I said, for you to have, now mind you, this, like I said, this, 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 so this, this is ridiculous at this point because, like I said, you've been doing, you've been dealing with this man for 20 years, and I'm not even sure if he, she's even been extorting him for 20 years. So, uh whew. at this point i want to know how old are they like yeah like what age are y'all now like and how much y'all in y'all 40s y'all like, 50s like i it's so many things i want like, to the <laughs> there's like, a whole lot of questions to this one, trust me like what <laughs> it's a lot of holes in this story so i i got a different perspective than all you all you guys right now um Give this woman the ultimate side chick trophy award of the fucking century. Hell like yeah. she played her part all the way through and still is playing her part. Like, although she has threatened to tell his wife, she has never done it. I don't think she is gonna tell her. All, all, she's she's using this over this man's head to get what she wants. So she has all kind of overstepped her boundaries as a side chick. But guess what? You being a side chick, you're gonna stay a side chick. You will always be a side chick to this man. So I, is, unless it, you can, it, unless you can use that, I think it was this though. I think it hurt her because he didn't tell her like, okay, I'm getting married, I got engaged, or whatever the case be, which he's not obligated to do so. Not at all, because at you know, all. you know, you know our situation. Feelings. You know our situation was always being that you always been the side. So but why I, would you, why would you put your position now? I think it hurt her feelings too because she had been around his people for a long time clearly because she said 
the people at the reception seen a hurt and on her face because they knew that she really liked him or cared for him or whatever the case may be. So I think it's more so too. She was looking like a fool, like all this stuff. But time out. I ain't gonna say. I want you to look look deep into your family. You maybe you got some uncles or some aunties in your family that's been side chicks or half side niggas or or. Listen. You, no. 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 And, no. I ain't saying so, no names, but so, I know some people. But I look like, at her the same fucking way. <laughs> I, I know some people who was the side chick until this day was the side chick up until he passed away. My point exactly. And, but the thing about this side chick, she got the same benefits the wife got. I, at, this point, some. at this point, if, if I was old boy, tell my wife. <laughs> tell my wife, let's, let's just get this over with. Tell my wife, because at the end of the day, you, you're not gonna get upgraded to the wife position. I just want you, you gonna end, you gonna end my marriage. You're still gonna be the side chick. I'm gonna go on and find me another woman if I have to, or hell, me and my wife might reconcile and get back to our marriage. So at right. the end of the day, like, why are you telling leave these leave these people alone? Go sit down somewhere. Matter of fact, you go to the corner and him go to the corner. And if he wanna take his wife to the corner as well, he take the wife to the corner because she's stupid as hell. No holes barred. I love it. We really gotta get into these comments. I don't know what it is about this story, but it got it just going. Right, it got it got it going. So let me let me go. <laughs> so um where are we at? Uh Zakia said Rose Hill Cemetery. There it is. That's what we're talking about. Um Stacy said, Oh, he had to sew his royal oaks. Royal okay. oaks. Mm, he did more than sewing. <laughs> Derek said she should have now. never went to the wedding. She should have stopped fucking with him after he got married. She was hurt. You got to get over it. Pray on it. Then he said she she, she hurt, hurt her. Right? My head. <laughs> Shannon in the building. What up, Shannon? Hey, Shannon. Yo, hey. Jenny. And she said, okay, I'm hella high right now. So did I just hear what I thought I just heard? Yes, the hell you yes, did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You um, really did. <laughs> Verbal said, dick too bomb. Dick too big. Hey. It happens. Man, it happens. I'm going to start moving. Can't let uh, it go. Can't let it go. Derek said, let it go, sweetheart. Let it go. Omega said, as a side chick, you know exactly what you got into. You decided to get pregnant with a man you knew damn well was already tied up and now you mad that's wild this sounds like the move fatal attraction okay hold on just but let me say this just right quick he's just a damn fool as well because he decided that you was gonna fuck her knowing that that she can get pregnant from unprotected sex so they both was wrong in that aspect but that's neither here nor there i'm just pointing that out Z said, let it go, let it go. Listen, <laughs> I don't like that song. Tay Diggs don't like that song either. I'm just saying. Uh, of course he don't. That was, a, that was a bad shot. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. I will be wrong, but he said it. He said it. Right. Was but so I'm, just saying. I'm just saying, you didn't have to bring that up right now. Verbal said, wife was drunk. CC Bloom is in the building. What up, CC? What it is? What it is? How you be? Thanks Cece for coming said, to hang with us. Exactly, holding your life up for a man who moved on and with the wife shakes my head. Mm -hmm. Omega says, send her ass to the corner of the padded room with the jacket that makes you hug yourself. Cause she crazy for that. <laughs> yeah, oh. Okay. oh, hold on, hold on. I think I got Bellevue on speed down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to know why you got them on speed? Right. That's my exact <laughs> point. Why do you speed that? Aaron, we were here. Here. Uh, uh, I don't speed that. No. Hey, me, 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 me. Don't 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 feel bad, brother, because you know, like I said, we were cellmates at one point at that time. So yeah, I get it. Mm, oh, Lord. I get it. They, every now and again, she they she got a call, they gotta come get me. So yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Stacy said, I'm ready to fight both of them. Stay, sit your ass down, Stacy, before you go to the corner. Ain't nobody because I ain't got money to buy you out of jail. And you, all that ass you got back there, you gonna be big birth this bitch. I'm gonna need you to not do that, okay? Sit down somewhere. <laughs> uh, Derek said 45 still holding grudges from teenage years. For real, he said you just as foul as him for messing around on his wedding night. You got paid to keep his secret, and you still bothered 20 years later. Move on. Cece said hard as hell. 
Verbal said, it's easier than you think to get away during the reception, especially if he can do quickies. We really appreciate you guys tonight. Y'all are really talking Y'all showing up and y'all showing out tonight. Is he talking from experience? Has Verbal been married before? To your, anyone knowledge? Verbal, you've been married? Drop that in the comments because you sound like you're talking from experience, my boy. It's interesting. <laughs> Stacy said, send her to the movie set of It's a Thin Line Between Love and Hate because she is cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek said, I'm not giving her an award for being stupid and scorned. Fuck out of here. That's <laughs> <laughs> so horrible. Verbal, that said, she is a true, Verbal said she is a true side chick MVP. Derek says, if there is a such thing as a side chick pussy, um, that would be the prime example. You know what? I'm done. CC agreed with um, Stacy. She said, right. Stacy also said, and when he died, she will get a side of nothing. Damn. Wow, but her son wow, will. Wow. We don't know that. We the don't child know will. That. The we child will. The child will. We don't know that. We don't if know that. If they can prove that that's his child, the child if will. That's child. all that matters. Well, guess what? This is Mari's last season on air. So he better. She better. <laughs> <laughs> Mari just got canceled after 30 minutes. After 31 years. They got paternity court. Um, Derek, says, Derek says special kind of fool. Mm -hmm. Stacy said this story pissed me off because Scott had a never mind. You know what? Stacy, don't be Hey, go okay. drink some water. Hey, Stacey. Well, this, 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 this is not this is not Jerry, this is not Jerry Springer. This is not the time right now. <laughs> no, no, that's Steve water. Wilkos. That's Steve Wilkos, you know. Oh, well, you got when you come out, you gotta stand up. You can't even sit in the chair, and then he's gonna pick it up and throw it against the wall. Then magically just breaks. Yeah. yeah, I was on, I was on Steve. I was on Steve Wilco one time. And he talking about he gonna smack me. I was like, I wish your ball head would try me. Like shit. I don't no, care, this like. is what you said. You gonna smack me, bitch, in front of my friends? That's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, moving on. Omega me in, the said, back, in the back room, but you know. <laughs> Omega said she sucks at being a side chick. She knew she was number two, and was mad when she chose number one. When he chose number one, a real side chick wouldn't have gotten pregnant. Falling in love, extortion, and shit, and still stuck 20 years later. Just that. <laughs> Derek said, wife, what is that? Marriage? Huh? Those don't have meanings anymore. Wait, 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 his ass got saved. Opinion, his because we were told, like, and this is what we told him to do what? Talk you your, talk your shit. shit. So he talk I'm, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, talking baby. your shit I'm right sorry, now. Baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, the next one is from Verbal. He said, I will say exactly that. Tell her, and let's see what happens. Matter of fact, you better hope she don't beat your ass, because you was at the reception. <laughs> oh, God, <bro. laughs> Definitely. Facts. 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 Uh, oh my god, Big Bertha. <laughs> exactly. Big Bertha be at the, that's why I can't go to jail because I can't be Big Bertha bitch. Uh Verbal <laughs> said, I have been married. Okay, bro. Uh Stacy said, Oh my God, y'all have me rolling tonight. Well, I'm glad that we can do that for you. You got we us rolling. So glad too. to entertain. We are so glad to hey. entertain at the end of the hey. day. Are y'all ready? Hey, bring it. Next time, bring bring a few friends. So they decided they are going into um, the corner for sure. So we got three in a cone so far. I'm going to tell you this now. This story is about to piss y'all off. Six now. Go ahead. This this story I'm about to read to y'all is about to piss y'all off. So I'm just waiting to hear what y'all got to say about this one. Trigger I have on. a problem with my husband ex wife not respecting my place as his new wife. We got married a few months ago, and his ex-wife needs to respect me as the boss of this family now. She has never liked me because I dated my husband while he was still married to her. We dated on and off for over 16 years while they were married, and we lived together for five years before we got married. My husband has twins with his ex-wife. The ex-wife's wife is always trying to talk to him about his twin, and his twins are old enough to speak for themselves. They are 15 years old, but it gets worse. I also think that the twins are old enough to stop coming for visits each week. My husband and I need our private time together 
on the weekends. The ex-wife is only sending these twins over so they can report back to her what's going on in our household. Their daughter does not like me. Um, and it's mad because I make her keep her things in a suitcase when she comes over to visit. <laughs> and her twin brother just follows her lead. I have told my husband that he no longer needs joint custody and that these twins are old enough to stay home. My husband just gets mad and uses that as an excuse to stay out at all hours of the night so he don't have to deal with me. I'm at my wit's end. What should I do to get through to my husband? It's my turn. Please advise. Well, first of all, and ladies and gentlemen, hold on. I want all y'all in the comments and everybody on the panel to talk Yo, shit. Well, I think everybody is talk, ready to talk their shit right now. Because what in the fuck? <laughs> well, first of all, lady, kill yourself. And like, how dare you tell me that? <laughs> okay, if I had if I had kids and then I decided to marry you, you have no you have no right to tell me when I can see my kids or when my kids can come over here and treat my kids like they're actual stepchildren. If you didn't, if you decide to come with me and you knew I had kids, twins at that. You, you accept me, you accept my baggage as well. Like I accept you and your baggage. So therefore you are not, at, you, you're basically not about to tell me that my kids, that they're not allowed over here to visit their father or whatever, or their dad or whatever. And you got, they got to keep their shit in their suitcase. No, my kids got a room, they got drawers, they got dressers and all that other nice shit. So therefore they're going to keep their shit in there. And like I said, now I'm going to have clothes over there already for them as well. So you are not about to sit up here and do anything of that nature. And quite frankly, me as a man, I wouldn't even fucking deal with you no more. Talk. Because you can, you can, you can, you can no, get the fuck out of my face. That's just how I feel. And that's just real shit. So how dare you? How fucking dare you? And whoever, whoever sent us that story. Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> man. Nothing. You about to get them started. Man, I'm about to go outside and take a smoke break. Ain't that a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Joe, you got an extra one I, I can use? Yeah, go. <laughs> Look, they brought an extra one. I ain't going to give it back. I'll right, I, I bring it back. when I'll give it to you when I come back. For sure. <laughs> Bro, basically what, basically what Joe said, man, basically that hit in a nutshell. Like, you're, you're basically putting stipulations on the marriage. Like, you do this for Jump Street, like he had kids. Like that kid, if a man has kids, they're part. Of, they're part of the package. You're supposed to accept them, regardless. Regardless if they hate, regardless if they like you or not, they're part of the package. So you're not only marrying this man, you're marrying, you're marrying his, you're marrying the offsprings too. Like if. And for her to fix her damn mouth to say that shit, man. Stacy, I will I will reread it for you in a minute, and I know this is gonna touch a lot for you, so I will reread it in a minute after uh, Meech finishes. Do you guys mind if I reread it again? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go, go ahead. Not not knock yourself out. Okay. I mean, Gerald's on a smoke break, so <laughs> right. It says I have a problem with my husband's ex-wife. Not respecting my place as his new wife. We got married a few months ago and his ex-wife needs to respect me as the boss of this family. Now, she has never liked me because I dated my husband while we was still married, while he was still married to her. We dated on and off for over 16 years while, while they were married and we lived together for five years before we got married. My husband has twins with his ex-wife. The ex-wife is always trying to talk to him about his twins. And his twins are old enough to speak for themselves. They are 15 years old. I also think that the twins are old enough to stop coming for visits each week. My husband and I need our private time together on the weekends. The ex-wife is only sending these twins over so they can report back to her what's going on in our house. The daughter does not like me and is mad because I make her keep her things in a suitcase when she comes over to visit. And her twin brother just follows her lead. I have told my husband that he no longer needs joint custody and these twins are old enough to stay home. My husband has just my husband just gets mad and uses that as an excuse to stay out all hours of the night. So he don't have to deal with me. I'm at my wit's end. What should I do to get through to my husband? It's my turn. You lucky if I come home. <laughs> Who want to take this next? 
I'm going to answer last, so. Okay, go ahead. Helen B, on you. <clears throat> First of all, just like I saw Derek say in the comments, sounds like nothing but karma to me. He basically cheated on his ex-wife with you. You should have already know what you was walking into from the gate. You stating that you have an issue. Are you stating that he's using things as excuses to stay out at night? You already knew what you was getting into from the gate. That's one. Two, how dare you sit here? That's that man's children. That's his blood. Like, no matter what, he can sit here and get divorced from you any day. But at the end of the day, he's still going to be their, their father. So you can't sit here and also... If he was a real man, he would know balance. He would know to be able to balance time with his wife as well with his children. But for you to sit here and put yourself in a position to say, oh, well, they can't even come over. Oh, I think he needs to, at the end of the day, legally, <laughs> up to 18 years old, that is still something that needs no. to be done, especially if no. it's illegal. Okay, well, my bad. I'm sorry. Parents are they're like, in oh, school. Legal. Oh yeah, if they're still in school. I'm Twenty-five sorry. for the right. girl, twenty-three for the boy. You're but absolutely if you're, right. If you're a good parent, that's a lifetime commitment. That ain't just no period. That's, no that's and that's true. So not not not, not not yelling at y'all. I'm not yelling at y'all. Just no, no, you're, you're right. You're right. Oh, I'm not mad at y'all. I'm just mad at that shit pissed Gerald off so bad he didn't came back with a hat and a scarf on. I'm trying to figure this shit out. It's fucking cold outside. Shit, all in the room. It's not cold outside. I, I no, know where's got to be heavy out there, bro. How, how fucking dare? How fucking dare you tell me when my when like we need our private time? Like, look here, oh. we're ma we're married. We're gonna have our private times when we have it. But you're not gonna sit up here and put that shit off on my kids just because you upset. You, you basically, it's like I said earlier, like you're basically putting like you're making this into a stipulated marriage, like. Like this, like this, you? like that, like this, you? like this, like this is this has to be done, or I, I ain't fucking with it, man. You going man. This story gonna maybe turn into Samuel Jackson in a minute. Like motherfucker, you don't get the <laughs> hell out of here. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's like I'm not a I'm not a parent. Yet. Well, I'm a god parent, and I and honestly, if I if if my wife was to tell me no, these kids cannot come over here, well, you getting the fuck on too. You getting if they gotta go, you gotta go, and I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna see them tomorrow. As a matter of fact, why you why you packing your shit? Cause no, you're not about to sit up here and deny me of my fucking kids at the end of the day just because I had them with someone else and not you and you and your feelings about that shit. It is what it is at this point. I mean, you guys know, like kids, kids, these kids didn't ask to be here. These kids didn't ask. There was just that was a decision me and their mother made at the end of the day. So therefore, you have no right to even delegate anything that goes on in these kids life. Now, if you were a respectful, true, uh, a respectful, truthful wife and stepmother, you would accept these fucking kids at the end of the day. And it's pissing me off that you would even bring these kids in there just because you're, quote unquote, not getting your time with me. And to tell someone's daughter that they have to keep their stuff, like, what are you trying to say? Like, is her stuff dirty? Like, it's just so, it's it's so many bad things about this. No, that's telling her that that's, she's that's not a, welcome in this home. Now, that's what that's have telling a her. But you know how some really? people are like, it's like, no, don't take your stuff out because I don't know what you're bringing. No, it's just that's it's not just what it was. Special. No, that's not what it was. What she's saying is, you're not welcome in this home, so don't get comfortable. Like what you came, like what you came with. That's what you leave. Because I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet she even takes it a step further and be like, "Oh, don't go in my refrigerator, like, and don't go in my refrigerator and eat my food." And uh, you know, this is what me and your daddy acquired and all this other dumb shit. Like, no, bitch, you just not, you do not disrespect my kids at the at the end of the day. And that's okay, just real. Let's, let's let Aaron make his point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you go got, ahead, Aaron. You need Gerald break. <laughs> Y'all did it on the air. There's nothing else to really give except for I, I, I kind of like, um, I despise a father. I despise, I despise a husband. Like, you allow this woman to come in and make this big of a change in your own damn household. I kind of despise you at this point. Like, what type of man are you to be the, the, the leader, the provider, the protector, not only of, of your wife, but of your children as well? What type of man are you to allow someone to come into your own household and make these serious type of changes? And your only excuse is now, I'm going to say I'll lay so I don't have to come home and deal with this shit. 
No, you're not a fucking man. You need to have some balls and say some shit at the end of the day. That, that, that man ain't it. got no nuts. My he, point he exactly. No man. You have, you have no balls to, in order for a person to say some shit like that to you, and then you still sit there and accept it. Let, let's go to the comments. Wait, 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 because I haven't, I haven't got my out yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, it's on you. Bro. Let sorry, me break. Sorry. Let me break this story down for you. Let me break all the red flags. For one, she said we've been dating for 16 years, right? The twins are 15. In those 16 years of y'all dating, during the time that they've been married, off and on, he had kids with this woman. So therefore, you accepted that. Then, y'all lived together for five years before y'all got married. Here's my thing. If they're coming over on the weekends, bitch, you got Monday through Friday. That is y'all days. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Let me tell you something. I am not a mother, but I am an auntie of 17. I am a godmother to three. Okay, understand me clearly. I ride for all of mine. You will catch these motherfucking hands. Period. First of all, you can ask any of my niece and nephew when they come here. They got a place to sleep. You're welcome to anything in the refrigerator. Just don't touch my apple juice. I put a big ass sign that says, "Do not drink my apple juice." Do not drink me. Okay. Terry, but, stop cussing. <laughs> I put a big sign that said, "But." They, and right now, I got some of them here now. I wish the fuck. And my nieces and them have a stepdad. We don't play none of the motherfucking games. Because all you got to do is call. She real disrespectful. And for him to even allow that to happen, fuck all that leaving. And then so you don't have to deal with it. No. Get your shit and get the fuck out or make her leave. That's a fact. Because I'd be damned if my kids going to yeah. be uncomfortable for you to be comfortable because kids come be for any motherfucking body. You got damn right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Damn right. That definitely. Yep. The voice is being filed immediately. Facts. Yeah. But on to another note, we're going to get into these comments real quick because we got a Ooh. lot to read. Yes. Please do. Because oh, I, oh, I, I know they chiming in like a bug. Right that bitch Hold on. Let me eye take eye a sip with my mouth a little dry. Hold on. I'm going to say, that bitch mm -hmm. had my eye burning for like 30 seconds. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Derek said, How the fuck you gonna restrict your husband time to be a father? Facts. Zakia said, What the fuck? I'm saying it with you. What the fuck? Um, Derek said, You sound selfish as a motherfucker. Omega said, put her ass in the corner ASAP. No, nah, that bitch ain't going in the corner. That bitch going to Rikers Island. No, she, that Alcatraz or something. See, you lucky, I put a button. you lucky I don't put a hot one in your ass for saying some stupid shit like that to me. <laughs> she said, it sounds like she don't like his kids. What the fuck? They 15 years old. They are going to need their father everyday shit. And you make them live out their suitcase? Get the fuck out of here. Fire her ass. No unemployment. <laughs> you know what? I like that. Ooh. I like, I like that. that too. I like that too. Uh, Derek said, but the husband has to make time for his wife as as well though the husband's going to take control and balance that time better here's the thing like i said before if they come over on the weekends you still got five days figure it the fuck out figure it out like no you and, then, and like i said if my kids have anything wet sorry his opinion his opinion <laughs> no 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 i was just laughing because he he he, he keep getting so upset <laughs> No, because like, this, this no, is a like story. I said, I got, got I got guy kids. Like I said, I'm a I'm a I'm a guy I'm a guy papa the three at the end of the day. So what you're not like I said, and, and, and I may have my kids may have kids someday as well. But what you're not, and then like I say, hypothetically, if me and my wife didn't make it, you are not about to sit up here and tell me how to delegate my fucking life with my kids at the end of the day. None of them for that matter. Yes. So, like yes. I said, yes. you can get your shit and peace the fuck out. Me and all my kids are gonna be fine. I'll find someone that they will don't. accept them at the end of the day. So fuck Talk you. your shit, Jay. Fuck Ooh. you. That's how I feel. And that shit got me tight. You just don't do no shit like that. Cause there's motherfuckers out here who don't want to be a father. It's motherfuckers out here who don't want to be a father, period. And the motherfuckers who want to be a father, you not even allow them to be that shit. Yeah. Continue though. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it for letting me continue. Well, uh, well stated. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> well stated. We got a big Z one from said, Omega too. I don't know if you got saw that one. What what you say? Um, I put it up because we it was. We, a, I read that one of, already. I read oh, that, read that one. one. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So Z said because I read Derek's already. Z said okay. you you where you at, girl? 
She said she gets no respect. One, she has a problem with his kids. And two, she was with him while he was still married for over 16 years. I'm sorry. Why are you upset? Exactly. Stacy said, damn, I missed the story, but we reread it for her. Um, Derek said, sound like karma, sweetheart, as well, too. Z said, and got the nerve to be selfish and want him to herself on the weekends. Bye, Felicia. Then Omega said, this shit is what happens when you marry a side chick, LOL. She should have took a page out of the previous story on side chick isms. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Uh, Valley Hokage is in the building. What up, Valley? What up? Yo, what's, what's up? happening? What's I'm sorry. I'm pissed off right now. <laughs> I think well, we all you, you must got warm. You ain't got the scarf and the hat on no more. Yeah, um, it's warm in the house. <laughs> Stacy said, okay. I guess that's referring to me rereading it. Um, Z said, it ain't her turn. She has 16 years worth of turns. Facts. <laughs> uh, Stacy said, oh, no, don't read it because I don't play with kids. I feel you. Stacy said, period, Jay. Vine is in the building. Hi, Vine. Damn right. Yo, hey, Vine. Salute. Mm -hmm. Z said, if they were her biological kids, she would never have weekends off. Big facts. Stacy says, yes. Aaron, that part. Cece oh. said, on site. Okay. Right. Stacy said, I told Scott, fuck them kids one day, and he choked me completely. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Stacy. Yes. That's Stacey. what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't condone violence, but guys. I was say, it, like, you might like, have gonna. If, when it comes to the chillings, no, nah, we don't we don't rock that way. You don't, Jessica, you don't, you don't talk about the kids. Fuck that. Jessica laughed. Stacy said, read the comments. I read them. And we then read. Verbal said, damn, my comment got flagged and reported. I went too hard. That wasn't us. That's Facebook. You know they hey. do that. So yeah, we don't flag. We let y'all talk. We don't shit. flag y'all, but we just yeah. try to tell y'all if y'all don't want to get y'all shit flagged. Kind of. Uh, you can say it, but spell it differently. Re reword it. Reword. No, That's you can it. spell it. You can say it, just spell it differently, so they right. don't understand what hmm. it is. Right. Right. Reword it a little but bit. But apparently he was pissed off. So. I'm pissed off too. Mm -hmm. That bitch. It's on Rikers Island. Fuck a corner. Yeah, they're not. She's not even in the corner. She's way. No, nah, she. No, nah, I'm. No, nah, she in the street with all her bags sitting in the middle of it. No, nah, that bitch is Rikers. And an 18 wheeler mm -hmm. driving yeah. at her at 100 miles an hour. No, nah, she is nope. in Rikers nope. and she's Big Bertha's bitch at this point. Yeah, go to she... Rikers Island. Do not pass go. Do not collect two of the bucks. She can go to Inglewood Cemetery too. That's fine with me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that time. Mm -hmm. No, she don't need to go to Inglewood. You know that that uh cemetery that's right there on Washington and uh what's that? Uh is that Normandy? Normandy. Yeah, Washington yeah, Normandy, Normandy. Yeah. We gonna put that bitch over there that don't nobody go to. Like I ain't never seen nobody yeah. go to like, funeral there. Like them people just been there forever. It's just a lawn at this point. <laughs> Basically. Basically. <laughs> Basically, yes. Uh, verbal, I did see what you said, um, but it said he said, yeah, it hit a nerve. I know you saw what I said. Yeah, I did. We saw it all. <laughs> we, we we definitely saw it all. So we, on we understand, verbal. We understand. That note. Definitely. Next story. And before, before you continue, put again, uh -huh. we are seeing a lot of new people coming in. Thank you so much for. We appreciate yes. the love. We appreciate the love. Sure. Continue to come and please bring some of your friends back. Bring some of your friends back and let them talk their shit. Because we will be doing a show like this in the near future. So yeah. we will, and like I said at the beginning of the show, we will drop we will drop the box soon to where y'all can let y'all stories be known as well. Anonymous, of course. But they will be known. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you, but I gotta read this comment. Stacy said, right. "Hold on now, we gotta fight because Big Birthday is my bitch." Well, damn. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all, y'all do y'all, y'all do y'all fighting in yeah. the corner. Do and Kelly said, corner. "Right." <laughs> oh Lord, Auntie Stacy, she said, "Right, Auntie Stacy." Okay, we gonna move on to the next one. Yeah, this story. Y'all ready? Give it to I'm us. Ready. I um, have been. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be We really needed that one. Y'all ready? Go ahead. It says, uh, 
Uh, what he said, I think I'm about to be in Facebook jail for them comments. Oh, just Lord. behave from now on. Just verbal. Behave. Just, 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 just don't say nothing. Just, just, just consider it your warning at this point. Right. <laughs> consider it your warning. Just learn. Just, just spell it different and reword it a little bit. But also talk yeah. your shit though, bro. Yeah. That's um, what this show is about. Yes. We'll still, Stacey we'll said, still, we'll still understand it though. One of the best shows. Thank you, Stacy. We appreciate that. Stacey. We appreciate and the love. We'll see if we can help bro out after the show and see if we can remove his comments before Facebook get a hold of him all the way. Yeah. So we'll yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, we'll, we'll try, we, we, we try to, we got you, we got you, Bird. We got you. He said, I almost banged on that F. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm so Listen. Good. Luckily, I'm the one with the, by all of us. Okay, by okay. everybody Luck, at this point. Luckily, I'm the. I'm, we gonna speak, bro. Luckily, I'm the one with the mic, so they can't flag me right this second. So, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So, I have been dating a guy at work. After dating him for ten months, I found out that he was married and he has three kids. I forgave him for lying because we were into each other, and I wasn't about to let this minor problem mess up our relationship. He is in law enforcement and we often sneak off to be together. I will admit that the role play is a lot of fun when he's in uniform. His wife is always busy with the kids, so we eventually wait kids. So we eventually had sex in their house, in their car, in my car, at his friend's house, at hotels, and in my apartment. I even gave him a threesome with another woman for our one year anniversary. Excuse me. Everything was going great until recently. He told me that his wife caught him cheating with another woman, not me. So we had to lay low for a while until he gained his wife's trust back. <laughs> I was mad about his him cheating on me with the other woman, but I forgave him. He told me that his wife forgave him too, but I truly don't care about his wife. I'm okay with being the side chick. But I, but I, re, but recently I've been seeing less of him since his wife caught him cheating, and it's starting to suck. I just feel like his wife needs to let him cheat in peace. It's not like she's going to do anything about it. She's not going to leave him. So just let him cheat in peace. We've been together for almost two years now, and I don't want to give up. What should I do? Should I wait for him to be able to sneak around again, or should I leave him alone? <laughs> No! You no. gotta be fit. What are you killing? <laughs> what is it? Y'all sell the gonna... fuck off in the comments. Talk your shit. What is you smoking in be... that pipe? I know nicotine is involved, but god damn. <laughs> <laughs> you done lost your rapid ass mind. First of all, the way she sound is like she interrupted our time. Like, bitch, what the hell? Hold on, it's hold on, it's the let, let it's the let him cheat in peace. For no, 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 it's not. Right. It's, it's, it's the his wife caught him cheating, but it wasn't with me. No, and the fact is, you, you, you yeah, exactly. You it's like you don't even care about that. Happy happy New Year? No, and, then, <laughs> and then she says something along the lines. Of, <laughs> oh, she said, like, what? <laughs> this nothing, is the man. <laughs> Like what the fuck? Like what are you? What are you people be thinking? Like this, shit, like, like yeah, we gotta take a break. No shit. Like, <laughs> like you don't, really, you don't like, really, say. Like like you caught me yesterday, and I'm just automatically supposed to just come back. Like yeah, baby, we done, you know she caught me, but uh, I'm still here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like like. And, and, okay, <laughs> who wants to go first? Fully, because this shit's. Good lord, I, I'll, I'll let y'all go first. I've been going first all night. So go ahead, Aaron. You go oh, first. You haven't went first yet. We, we said everything we need to say. Like, I already changed my name to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag this shit. We'll get this shit put on t shirts. You see, you already cheat the heat. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, let let me 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 no, <laughs> you probably presents we like side chicks. Let him cheat in peace. Like hashtag cheat in peace. Like, somebody need to tell this woman. Somebody need to tell this woman. Brand emojis. Uh, <laughs> CHP stands for California Highway Patrol, but CIP stands for cheating peace. Now, which one are you choosing? California Highway Patrol or you cheating peace? Because I'm a little confused what you're doing out here, lady. I, like, you know, out of all the stories, she has to be the dumbest. Out of all of them thus far, she goes down to just about the dumbest woman I've seen in my life. Like, I don't like. I don't know what y'all what y'all seeing these men. I don't know what y'all doing, but 
this is terrible. Like I haven't like. I, get, I, I don't want to see what these niggas look like. I'm like, oh my uh, what is making? <laughs> but I don't even think I don't even think looks is a part of it at this point. I just Evan, think no, it's not. She it, just excited something. to be with him and that she like it because he in uniform when they cheat. But yeah, I, mean, like, oh, yeah, I know he probably pull her over. Not that I, mean, I know he probably <laughs> catch her when she's 10 minutes from the house, pull her over for real, and then Wait, her she like, said, you know, give me some ass, you know. I'm ready for this when I say this. She said he in law enforcement. I know a lot of people that say they're in law enforcement, but they're security, really security guards. guards. <laughs> <laughs> Like, where is where is your badge at? Where is like, the, like the, 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 the worst thing like, on his belt? The, the, like, the worst thing on his belt is 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 pepper spray. Like, <laughs> you gonna catch fry? You gonna catch fried chicken or something? What the fuck is that? Like, you like, ain't and it's but not the world, dogs. Fred. Like you ain't about to do you ain't about to do nothing, but I'm not that 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 that's I, mean, crazy I don't think we gotta go too far in this unless somebody got some extra points they want to drop off. But I think uh we all know this woman probably should hang herself to an anchor and just fall off the, the cruise ship at this point. If you, know, y'all feel. you need to go at the you need to go to the bottom of the ocean with that diamond from Titanic. That's what you if need to do. Y'all I feel agree. like she needs to go to the fucking diamonds. corner and stay there. Please put no. it in a comic book. Man, she, man, she don't do like half of that. She's already in the court. Like she... Fuck that corner. I don't know. <laughs> the corner is full tonight. This is the Damn thing. It. The corner, you can redeem yourself. You can't redeem yourself from the fucking corner. You, bitch, you I was don't about need to, to be say, in the corner. We're going to name it the side chick corner in a minute because it, that's just been off the... Where there's four corners, you know, in a room. So the worst, The worst part, like she knew, like, okay... We always could say that there's a story of she didn't know she was a side chick or she didn't know she didn't have a that dude didn't have a, a wife or something, but like you knew going to the situation exactly what you was. No, no, no. Technically, at first, she didn't know. If you paid attention, she said, I was dating this guy for um and, okay. and then, but, eight months but in. But afterwards, know, then she you became took the his side ass chick. Back. No, but then but then she gives them a threesome on they one year anniversary. Wait, but how how are you loyal to a person that's cheating with somebody else with you? That I'm, I'm confused. You know, I girl just said, I girl just said you don't have an anniversary when this nigga don't belong to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 what anniversary are you talking about? What the fuck I'm saying? There is no like, anniversary. You have a one year anniversary with, as a side. How does that happen? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know hey, what today is? It's side two anniversary. First thing I gotta say is, you said side anniversary. Cheetah Lady Sports Tell me know when our side anniversary is. When do we make that official? I want to know if the dude well, don't. I want to know. Is this the at the first link up? Like, where well, is this? Well, don't, well, don't be surprised if Hallmark makes the car for it. No, or or some shit like this. Hey. You, know, you know, the first date that you pulled me over on my way home and gave me uh, that UTR. Shit. Y'all wait on it. UTR will be having merchandise for sale in the near future. So when it come out, we will definitely let y'all know. Just FYI. Yeah. And, yeah. and just know hashtag cheating in peace. And uh side anniversary will be on them shirts too. So just know well go to the corner. <laughs> oh as, yes, as well as and my favorite, store. go to the corner. Yes, yes, yeah. But uh let's get to these comments because uh this yeah, Vaughn Ooh. says, Lord, no, I be we trying to tell him. Omega said, minor problem, girl. He married with kids. Today is side chick Saturday. Yes, the hell it is. And that was done unintentionally. I'm just gonna let y'all know. The story was Very unintentional. unintentional. Um, Omega said, "Let him cheat in peace." I'm dead. I'm dead too. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Verbal said, "Is this the side chick show?" No, no, no. no. But it, it's, it's, I it's mean, it's the red flag it's show. Red it's flag show but it's, it's a red flag show. show. But just so happened, a lot of our stories. Well, quite a few of our stories have had side chicks. So, so, so let me say this. I know women are supposed to be the smarter ones out of the men, as they say. These mm. bitches is making us look dumb as hell with they raggedy asses. That's all I'm saying. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, that's oh, so bad. Is that right now? Okay, let me mm. let, let's move on. Cece said, "Oh, so she want to go to one of them cemeteries y'all mentioned? She really <laughs> off like a motherfucker. Yes, she is." <laughs> Stacy said, "Bitch, neither are you, you big dummy." <laughs> She said, "Big dummy, you know who I thought about, Gerald." Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Oh, Elizabeth, honey, I got to come to you for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna start going doing to that shit. Well, go ahead. Go to the cemetery. Oh God. Hey, dummy. Omega said, "Girl, you can go straight to hell with a whole bunch yeah. of laughing and crying emojis." <laughs> yes, the hell she can. Mm. Um, Burple said, "This is side chick." Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame moments. Hall of Fame moments. Yeah, I'm a little slow. I'm not. It's the drinks. Hall of Fame moments. Just so y'all know, it was full. Um. <laughs> Kelly said, I'm going to need a shot to this. Your whole glass should be empty by now. <laughs> yeah, right. You might, you might want to, uh, yeah, go for that refill. <laughs> Von no, said, I'm going to sip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got water, too. <laughs> Von said, first off, why is she okay with being a side piece? First of all, you missed the story before that with the 20-year. I mean, some people. <laughs> some, that yeah. one. Some people want to be side chicks. Let them be great. <laughs> all right. Some of them know they ain't worth shit, and so they decide to stay in their lane. Just stay in your lane. Um, Z got the whole bunch of like dead skulls because she did. She, she did. She did. Rest um, in peace. Jessica said, "Jessica, love, what's up, love?" What's up? She said, "Cheat in peace." Yes, cheat in peace. Cheat in um, peace. Omega said, "This nigga said, oh my God, why is this what?" Why his wife won't let him cheat in peace? The fuck left my ass off. We're trying to figure it out too, okay? Maybe because he cheated on you and cheated on her with somebody that won you. Man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, um, Cece said this sounds too crazy to be real. I'm done. The audacity of this bitch. <laughs> uh no, replied and said, Take one for me too, cuz baby. She talking about a shot. Um, Omega said, "Everybody gonna have all type of claps and hurts with all these side chicks." Ch- and, and yet, and yet, it gets glorified. And then CC uh, responded to that with, "For real, for real." Rebel said, "All I know is these dudes swipe game is serious. I need to step my game up." I don't know. Verbal, it's the swipe game. You know what? Verbal at this point, go stand in the corner. You go stand in the corner with all them heifers. And you better make sure you're wearing a whole body condom at this point. Damn. Mm. Emotional damage. Emotional, Emotional damage. damage. <laughs> oh my god. Omega said hashtag cheating peace. Left my ass off. <laughs> Stacy said, I baby. left home to be with my side piece. Y'all know that song. I'm not playing with you. I'm done. Cece said, side bitch of the cemetery of the century decade, hell, forever. Shakes my head. Unbelievable. And so Jessica insane. laughed at uh, Stacey's song. Vaughn said, shorty got dreams to get played, but the head dummy. Okay, I got it. Never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to figure it out. You nasty. He said, how desperate is she for a man? When this side chicks get so much entitlement, you are on borrowed time, meaning you get him when he's available, not when you want him. Find a single man that's what time's for you. That has time for you. You damn right about that. Know your worth, Queen. CC said, Y'all a fool. Girl, I ain't got no damn sense. I told y'all when God was handing out sense, I stepped out of line talking about ooh, hot dogs. We ain't going there. Um, verbal said, <laughs> yep, yep, you heard that right. Uh, Cece said she don't have a spot nowhere, not a damn place. That's responding nope. to me when I said go to the corner. Um, Verbal said ain't no corner. She already decided chick. Well, damn. <laughs> damn. damn. <laughs> Jessica said she cheating herself. Cheater day. I... You seen that? I, I was dead for a second. I was I was dead. Um, yeah. Cece said dumb as hell. Kelly said I'm singing with you. It's our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> <laughs> Stacy Star said February 15th, National Side Chick Day. No. No. National Side Chick Day is February 16th. You got to leave them hanging for a little bit, and then that day is when they get their shit. Because on February 15th, that's when my best friend had gave me my, my Valentine's Day gift, and I said, you're going to give me my shit the day after Valentine's Day like I'm a side chick. So I decided to move the date to the next day because we don't do that here. What did Stacy put in our previous comment? Oh, that's when she was singing. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Stacy said, I'm glad I, I have a beard because tonight I'm a dupe. That's what I was talking about. Oh. Oh God. Stacy, go put she she need a timeout. She need a timeout. We all know you got was it POCS? I think that was called or PCOS. Some one of them words. PCOS. 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 I said it was one of them. She did the F bits. You didn't say that. <laughs> um verbal said sometimes you gotta make your side chick feel special too. We dipping for a year. We can celebrate it real spit. He probably been in her more than his main chick. Ooh. If you're oh. drinking, I'm gonna need you to put the cup. <laughs> no. no, 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 Oh God, <laughs> Kelly said, "Wait, there's a side chick date." Kelly, yes. where have you been, Kelly? Yeah. Kelly, yes, yes, there is. Day? She never been a side chick before, so congratulations. That's a good thing. Absolutely, yes. 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 be glad for that. Uh, Jessica says, "Side chicks need to know their place." Apparently, they don't, because all these bitches don't even know nowadays. Anything. They don't. Yeah. says, ha, 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 "Bunny B, no more liquor." Why can't? Hold on. <laughs> He's like after this, just real quick. You good? Who's, Bun who's Bunny B? That's put. <laughs> when did you get that nickname? She been calling me that. Hold on. Oh. How much you gonna drink, Dennis? So should we go to commercial break now? Or you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a commercial. Love that chicken from Pie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> so you, oh you, are you saying side chicks that get chicken from Popeyes now too? <laughs> no, I just wanted to say I just wanted to see oh. that slave ass chicken song. Yeah, it's <laughs> a correlation. That's all. My bad. Jessica yeah, says, "Shut up, come on. When that lady come on, I, I bust a blood vessel. Shut up, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Not National Woman's Month. Oh Lord, Jessica Damn. said, "Shadow Clock." Kelly said, I'm a good hoochie. <laughs> All right. Who friend is Kelly? You, you care to elaborate in the comments? That's, that's uh, Stacy Niece. Oh, she no. said, I'm a hoochie. Oh, that, okay. that's, that's family. Stacey. Like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, verbal <laughs> says, <laughs> I can't <laughs> get the best candy because after the 14, <laughs> everything be on sale for half price. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm gonna get you. These, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you the five five pound bar Kit Kat for a dollar. Yes, Lord. Yeah. CVS it, on sale. Uh, it, oh 50%, Lord! It, all this fifty percent off. Here Jessica you go. Said, now listen. I'm uh, listen. Jessica said Kelly is side chick. Jessica and Kelly. I know y'all know each other. I'm pretty sure y'all do. I'm gonna need y'all to make that bold ass comment. Y'all better know each other. Y'all exactly. better. Mm -hmm. For real. Talk your shit, eh? <laughs> they uh, drunk. Uh, <laughs> said they drunk. Laugh my ass off, Jessica. It's my sister and Kelly is my niece. See, I said y'all knew each other. You was that right. Explains it all. That explains it all. That's it in a nutshell. Okay, y'all. <laughs> next. Next, next, next one, and this one not so much as a side chick, but it's crazy. Let's hear it. All right, bring the it. gonna be pissed off with this one. Just Who? FYI. the men, the men. So be ready to get uh, your scarf, girl. Uh, <laughs> you ready? Wait, hold on. We got another comment. Said, uh, verbal said that's why side chicks be so happy because their shit be loaded on the <laughs> on the gift game. What? I'm done. You about to go to the corner. He, he already in the corner. He ain't got to come out hey, yet. You look, man, no, keep you sipping look, in the corner, you, brother. Keep sipping you, in the corner. You might like it over there. You might you might have a side chick over there. All we know. I'm not, oh, shit, because all the side chicks is over there. Yeah. Oh, Pain in the building. Pain in the building. What up, Pain? Hey, hey, what's, what's up, bro? Kid? What's good, kid? Make okay, sure listen to this big. story, y'all. A year ago, I began working at a new company. Two months later, my supervisor and I began flirting and texting each other doing and after work. It didn't take long for this to turn into a sexual relationship. This included a lot of secret dates and nice gifts. He even met my parents. We both knew he could get in trouble since he was my supervisor, but he didn't want to end our fling. He told me that he was going to talk to the CEO of our company 
about being demoted. So hold on. So we could continue our relationship. So he was demoted and took a twelve hundred dollar a month pay cut. Wait, it gets better. Now the problem is I ended up getting promoted and I got a pay raise. Since my promotion, I'm afraid that if our relationship becomes public at work, our co-workers would think he is the reason I got a promotion. I can't afford to become the topic of gossip and possibly lose my job. So am I wrong for still wanting to keep our relationship a secret after all he has done for us to be together? The idea of keeping it a secret does not sit well with him. I love him, but I also love my money and financial independence. Help me, please. I don't want to lose him. What should I do? Why would the fellas be bad, first of all? That's my first question. Well, so the fellas going to be mad because he took a pay cut for y'all to be together, meaning that y'all relationship was going to be open? I'm not mad. Hold on. I you didn't took know a $1,200 but... pay cut for y'all relationship to be open, but she decided to keep it on a low because after he got demoted, she got promoted, and she didn't want nobody to know what was going on, so she so didn't keep paying up for nothing. <laughs> Basically. I'm, I'm, I'm still mad. He's, he's an idiot. Well, if, sleep, if sleeping I mean, in, in general, if it, yeah, if it was you, you would be mad, though, right? Can I ask a question? Hey, if, if you What's your question, Jay? What's your Karen? Yeah, you, Aaron, did you do that? Do, did I do what? Did, did, did you take a $1,200 pay cut? Hell no. Did, me, did you do it? The fuck? No. <laughs> the what I'm saying is this. So as a mad. man. Now, no, no, no. I get what you're saying, Professor. I'm not. No, I'm, but I'm, you I'm, just I'm tried not, to play me. No, I you didn't. Really tried no, to I play me. I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm not I don't, I don't see the fellas being mad behind this, The only reason what why I'm only I'm upset is if my bros did it. But like I said, I'm not mad because this motherfucker's stupid. It's like, I'm never going to take a fucking pay cut. To like I said, Where first of all, I wouldn't even go talk to the CEO about shit. And you gotta catch me. Like it, it is what it is at this point. But professor, I'm not trying to you tried play to play you. me, but it's cool. No. <sighs> I'm gonna be gone with the wind fabulous right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't need I don't need this shit. I don't need this. I don't need this shit. I don't need it. Now you so you guys can continue. I'm going yeah. to win fabulous yeah. right now. Heather, nah. Aaron, Meech. It's like it's like it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like it's basically he was he is retarded. To pay, he is retarded from Jump Street. So basically, she's basically slept her way to the top. Basically. In a sense, I wouldn't even say that. You know, you know low key, it kind of it was because if you told but, the CEO, wait, hold on, if you told the CEO so you can get demoted so y'all can be together, <laughs> and then she got promoted, the CEO played you too. Exactly. 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 The CEO played you. In to the top, though, you got to sleep with multiple members to get to all the way to the top. She you just, just got played she, all around. It's she got like, played. At the end of the day, like he's like, like the definition, definition of a sucker. Like you basically said, I'm gonna go to the CEO to go ahead and get a lower position so we can go out and be public with our relationship. At the end of the day, y'all basically flip position sounds like she got your old position, you got her new position, so <laughs> you get less money, she'll get more grants than you. So you just a sucker. Sorry, I'm and, 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 and I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet she didn't take care and I'm willing to bet she didn't take care of him the way he was taking care of her when he was on top. So mm -hmm. Yeah, it was basically said in you her statement. Stupid. I mean, she, Bro, you she, she loves her She loves her money more. I will never, I will fucking never go to the CEO and ask, "Can I be in a relationship with somebody?" Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. Like you got not even that. Like I want to make less money to, to yeah. be in love. I'm about to, I'm about to change my whole lifestyle just so we can be together. No, mm -hmm. if we can't be together with with the status I got now, it's to each his own. But we gonna we gonna keep sneaking. Fuck that shit. Right. Let me let me tell you this right now. Even if the roles were reversed, I'm not doing that shit at the end of the day. Because here's the thing. You could have went to the CEO and he could have said, well, you know what? I'm firing both of y'all. So that's dumb as fuck in the first place. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping my mouth closed. What we do is what we do. And it is what the fuck it is. But I'm not taking a pay cut. I'm not doing that because guess what? You can take a pay cut and fucking a week later, now y'all broke the fuck up. Now you... You took a twelve hundred dollar pay cut to be with somebody that you ain't with no more. Ass it, out. Well, it sounds like they all broke up. Not last. It sounds like they are broke up at this point because he over here wants right. to 
He so, was in so, public. So. She was to remain pr uh, private. So it does sound like it, at this point, you're on the rocks. Right. So, 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 now, so now this nigga sitting, sitting on a cot at the fucking shelter wondering about the bad decisions he done made in life. Like, ain't that a bitch? Like, no, he, he, got, he, got that rep, he got that repo notice coming for his car. <laughs> right his house here, that, that pink slip on the door talking about, you know, your rent due. Oh, oh, yeah. You, oh, you, days, you, got, you, got, you got 30 days to vacate the premises and whatnot. Yeah, like, what's what's going going on? On? Yeah. Work when you got Wi-Fi. Like, nobody yeah. needs these kind of issues. Yeah, because I'm just that, that, that's some that's some dumb shit. Like you fucking crazy. Like, no, nah, bro. I'm not taking okay. no pay. We do what we do. We do what we do. We get caught, we get caught. We'll talk about it when we get caught. But shit, rise up right now. We're gonna keep the push. Look, the only thing I'm gonna tell you is this look, we doing our do. Stack your paper just in case some shit go down. And we lose right. Our job. And, and like, that would be, that that would be, be all right. Logic. That's more that, logic to this. Do, this like, is the definition like, of conflict of interest. Like this and, is the and, this and, is the definition and, of conflict of interest. Like if I have a high end position where I'm gonna get this much more money than you, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna risk my job or go go ask for a lower position just to make sure that we in love. Like no, I'm sorry. Yeah. There's too many women that walk this earth every day that look just as good as you, bring just as much value to the tables as you. For me to go take a fifteen hundred dollar pay break, uh, pay, paycheck rate. Like that doesn't sound. Come on now, that's yeah. what's It's talking. not feasible this, in 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 my world. No, this, 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 you're changing your whole life. You're changing your whole lifestyle at this point. I'm not taking yeah, this one hundred dollar pay cut for nobody. Like this is why you don't. And I'm pretty sure this man probably got kids too. So therefore, you. So fifteen hundred dollars is a lot of money. So now you're taking food out your kids' mouth in order to be with in order to be with a woman. You you're a broke dumb nigga. Period. Okay, let's get to the comments, y'all. Yeah. So um, Murphy said, "Bro, these are facts." Stacy said, "Yo, yo, yo," uh, or pain. Let me say pain because we got a Stacy in here. Um, Jessica said, "What is gift game about true fortune? <laughs> gift game is when you buy all the stuff that's half price and then put it all together and bring it a gift, like you paid a whole bunch of money for it, but you didn't because you got the shit cheap. That's what gift game is." Um, Rebel said, hey, the side chick MVPs are over there. I need to get a new roster. My shit is empty. I'm you can't be empty, bro. I'm not believing that for one second, bro. Right. T Ling in the building. What up, T? Hey. 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 What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> she coming in looking. Girl, you didn't miss a whole bunch of stories. Who you want <laughs> to go back and watch later? You want to watch. Um, Katie said, throw it back to get get to the top. Laugh my ass off. Jessica said, she a sneak and a leak. Duh. <laughs> Purple said, she need to keep that a secret, but she need to compensate me. Ha! <laughs> Facts. So that $1,200 difference, I'm going to need you to at least run me half of that. Yeah. If you're making that $1,200 difference, we I need you to half of that. She Make broke. So so <laughs> Stacy said, hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell, hey, to the no. <laughs> he also said, uh, yeah, Payne also said, yeah, that boy dumb as rocks. Right. <laughs> yes. I agree. Purple said, Fact. I ain't taking no damn pay cut. Hell, no. T, you said, T said, definitely dumb as fuck. Purple said, that box must be fired. Oh, it must be. Ain't no box. Ain't no box. Ain't that much fire in the world, bro. It might not be the box. It might not be the throat. I'm just saying, we never know. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no throat that's good. That good for twelve dollar pay cut every month. Ain't no sex that. Uh, we don't even know. We don't even know how the pay schedule works. We don't get once a month, once a week, once every other week. We don't know how that pay schedule goes. So twelve hundred dollars. That's facts. That's facts. We miss out on a gang of money. Again, definitely. T and T also said facts. Then she said, "Boom!" Now she got the crying emoji. Uh, Verbal said this might be an interracial relationship. We don't, we don't know. We don't know. I don't know about we, we, that. We don't know, but I don't think that makes a difference at this point. You I don't know, think. Right. I don't really <laughs> Verbal also said, "I'm not taking this two dollar pay cut." Hey, hey, hey. I'm, about say, I'm about to say, Verbal, have you seen gas prices? I'm not taking nothing. First of all, <laughs> gas prices is higher than giraffe pussy. You ain't playing with nobody. <laughs> I'm, I'm not taking, taking, taking no That's I'm going to be going to win. I'm going to be gone with the win. Fabulous with my twelve hundred dollars. Fuck what you talking hey. about. <laughs> hey, hey, hashtag cash me out. <laughs> exactly. Cash so. me the fuck out. Hashtag. Oh, we gotta have another shirt that says hashtag no pay cuts. Right. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Cheating, cheating um, peace and no pay cuts. Damn. Yep. 
We get this this task I getting kind of long now. Uh, Cece <laughs> said, I don't know what she got going on to get a nigga to take a pay cut. Facts, I'm trying to find out. T she said, Oh, no, she's telling us hi back, y'all. Hey, but, um, Z put, said, uh, Patrice, professor, do not rub your tea like that ever again and say, In fact, I need to find out what, he, what she doing and get the pay cut. Don't I did that. <laughs> 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 like, that, that was over top for me. Like, <laughs> did you really just like arrest yourself? Like, facts. I'm gonna find out, girl. I'm gonna find I the fuck out. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. I promise you, I didn't realize I did that. Um, he said, You move for see when you got little hands, you can't really cross your arms, so and um, little arms, so it, it's uncomfortable. So you just I, rest I your you. hands. I got but, you. yeah, um, <laughs> Z said, You move forward in life, not backwards. Back. Thank you. Uh, verbal said, "Bro, my card take a hundred dollars." Listen, I had a little over a, a quarter. No, yesterday I had a half a tank of gas. Do you know it took me sixty-five fucking dollars to fill it up at half a tank? Yeah, Fuck yeah. Want- we all suffer. we all suffer this. Glad I ain't got no car right now. And then Jessica mm-hmm. said, "Gas prices got me on the pole as a side job." Girl, I was trying to get on the pole too, and then I realized such things as gravity. What location you at, girl? <laughs> I tell you what. I'm, I'm, you too, I, I tell you where I'm oh, at. My, my bad. My bad. I tell you where I'm at. I'm at Black so and I, I realized that I couldn't go up the pole, so I just sit on the chair and do my dance, and I just put the tassels on, and you know, so you just, and you just you just roll. That's all you do. Is, I'm no, not, not. like this with the tassels. I'm gonna say, I'll tell you where I, I, I tell right. them where I'm at. I'm at, I'm over there on at Blackendale's over there on Fig and uh, uh, Century. They Black call, they call and, and no, they call me coffee cakes over there. So, they <laughs> you know how they said throw that ass in a circle, I throw the titties in a circle, so you know it all works out. Don't they love it when I spread peanut butter all over myself. Go ahead. <laughs> T said more like gas prices got you ready to knock over a bum asking for change. <laughs> oh, she said, shit, I need some change too. Shit, me too. Verbal oh. with the glasses. I'm not playing with you. Kelly said, y'all too much for me. LOL. Kelly. Oh my Kelly. God. Kelly. Kelly, we'll see you in two weeks. We'll see you. Uh, better. <laughs> Y'all ready yep. for the next story? Because it's gonna be the last story of the night. All right, please do. Please do. <laughs> this one is uh, crazy. Oh, uh, it get crazier than this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, you'd be I surprised, do. bro. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I am surprised. <laughs> I got to take my scarf. I'll be here. Thank you. I knew you would, Kelly. I knew you would. We'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> Definitely. Y'all ready for this story? It Let's says I've been with my boyfriend for four years and i love him so much i'm 25 and he's 30. okay he has promised me that one day we will get married but there are just a few problems that i need to handle that i need to handle first about a year ago he lost his job and he took it pretty hard the first month he wouldn't shower or brush his teeth i told him that if he didn't shower i would bust the windows in his car needless to say he showered I told him that he needs to groom himself so he can feel good about himself. Well, a week after that, I came home and found him wearing my heels while he was cooking dinner. When I asked him why he was wearing my heels, he said he wanted to see how I do it. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse. One night, we were about to make love and he was wearing my panties. He said that all of his underwears were dirty. Now he's been borrowing my clothes all of the time instead of washing his he says that wearing my clothes makes him feel closer to me but i think he wants to beat me he has dyed his hair the same color as mine and tries to talk like me i love this man but i don't know what to do how should i handle this please help we're not going to slander that community so let's refrain from slandering a community or a, a group of people who you may not favor with so please use your words selectively when we answer this for people in the comments and all the people on the panel so let's uh choose our words wisely we don't want to get shut down no we're doing what you go to facebook jail in the comments as, as well so nobody gets flagged tonight please we, we, we all drive home safely we don't gonna drink and drive we're gonna call ubers and triple a we have to but uh, who wants to go oh, first? Yeah, you, you, you definitely can here. It's more thank, like thank, matter of fact, th- 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 you trying to take her life? Like, what? Thank, 
thank you, Aaron, because I, I knew you, I knew where you was going. Was going. Uh, that, that had me biting my lip. I'm like, oh, I, 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 is he done with this story? I'm like, oh, I'm about the energy coming, bro. Ass, but okay, pause. Pause, pause, pause. I was, I was, I was about to, I was, I, boy, but let me explain something. Woman, I don't ever need to be that fucking close to you. I am just saying, I don't ever need to be that fucking close because it's never that necessary. Let alone, I know how to wash my own goddamn clothes. So I don't need to wear her drawers at the end of the day. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. So, <clears throat> You know what? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just end it right there because my real opinion. <laughs> I, I know I know your real opinion, bro. My real opinion. I know that real opinion. We'll, we'll probably get yeah. us shut down for 30 days and we don't need that because we love to interview. If not longer. We love to talk our shit with y'all. And um, it, it, it's horrible at the end of the day. But um, I'm going to let the next person go and I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try to refigure or reconstruct my conversation to further on my thoughts. So please, can someone else continue? Let, let the lady take this first, because I feel like the man going to have a, a strong opinion on how we feel. Yes. So lady, yeah. lady, have a beat. Please, if you may. It's just all kind of weird. That's all I can say. Like, at first when put started the story, in regards to him not washing it. I'm like, the first thought I thought was, okay, he lost his job. Maybe it's, you know, he's locked in depression. Until it got to the part with him wearing her heels and her panties. Um, first of all, he needs to come to terms with the possibility that he might want to engage in other activities. And also, I would still tell her that she needs to run just because my thing is this. It's one thing for you to start experimenting and putting on things. But when you're starting to look just like me, that's a little that's a little loco. That's a little crazy. It's like you're trying to take my identity. Like, no, mm -mm. He, he would need some help. That, that's all I'm saying. He, he needs help. Put, I'm going to take you like this. Professor, let's hear it. First of all, that is all types of red flags. And at this point, you better sleep with one eye open because he's really trying to take your identity at this point. He ain't got no job. He's trying to act like you and be like you and dress like you and talk like you. Oh, bitch, you got to kill you and assume your identity and be you <laughs> at this point. You have a Buffalo Bill situation. <clears throat> right. No, but on, on another note, Bro needs some serious help. Like there's, he got some underlying issues because <laughs> you, think? you, 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 you cook it in the kitchen with heels on. I don't understand how that's making you think to see how I do it. And first of all, that's, that's a new hashtag, by the way. <laughs> I, would, I would to see how you do it. <laughs> second, second of all, my panties. In your panties? My panties? In my fucking panties. So no. I want to know this, though. Did he have on a matching set? Because he had a bra on, too. Because she said have, he was wearing her clothes. I'm just trying to figure it out. He had a thong on. I just want to know, know, what would you feel like if you was about to perform sexual relations with this man and you pulling his shit down and you see your I didn't try to like the Sahara Desert at this point. And I don't want it. The shit can be cute when you the ain't got to worry about me. Man you ain't got to worry about me. No, 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 no. I'm just the saying. Part that's, the part that's, the shit can, go ahead. Eh? The part that scared me the most about the lady's reaction was the, well, the first initial reaction was, bitch, you better run this nigga trying to take your identity. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. But at the same time, it's like, for me, it's like, okay. Yes, he is. He trying to be her. He didn't dyed his he, hair. He, he dyed he, his hair. He just tapped in the closet, closet like the R. Kelly song. He, he ain't trapped in the closet. He's sitting on the couch. You lying. Because he ain't got no job. So he ain't trapped in the closet. He's sitting on the couch. Well, he escaped the closet, but he hasn't, he hasn't escaped reality. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I mean, he, that's, that's he even sadder. He, he is at the damn... Uh, 
stole cooking with heels on. He is not trapped in the closet. Very true. At this he's point, he's he he waving the flag. Like he, it's, he, it's, he is that rainbow flag is everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, but bruh is smoking bath salts for even doing no. that. Because like, when people do drugs, drugs will make you want to dress in the, in the other person's in your in your girlfriend's attire. Because that, so please believe when I get drunk or when I do drugs, I do not put on heels nor my girlfriend's panties if I had a girlfriend at the time. It's so probably meth. Meth would probably do it. I don't think. I don't, well, I never used meth before, so I can't. I don't, say it. I don't <laughs> think anyone used but, meth, but we've seen people that use well, I've meth. Said, that yeah, I know, I've seen meth heads, and I've never seen them walking down. Yeah, I, I've I never seen them walking up the, on the on the on the, on the um, center divider in panties and heels. And they you're more like to be fully them. naked than wearing somebody's panties. Go to New York. I don't yeah. know because I see a lot of them nowadays <laughs> dressed as women, even though they men. But maybe that's just because that's the only thing they. Could get their hands on. It's like, all right, that's all. Right. Yeah, that's not here, not there. I, I think we're trying to find excuses. Like, why continue. this man is wearing women's clothing? I don't think that we should provide excuses. Or it, it, it don't. It is it don't justify none. shit. That's what I'm saying. There is none. None. I don't ever need to be. There's no excuse. I don't ever need to be my significant other that much to where I need to put her her drawers on at the end of the day. Like I said, it's cute. <laughs> it's it's psychologically it's right, it's too wrong. If she was wearing my shit. Okay, fine. If you wearing my shit, we both know you. You, you know, but it's a red flag when I do it though. So no, we're not doing that. But before we even get more into this conversation, can we please get to the comments? <laughs> okay. Yeah. He fuck? said all red right, flags please. all the way around. <laughs> Payne yeah, said she needs to run. Omega said he's about to bruise Caitlin her ass. <laughs> Verbal said, Basically. oh, she cray cray, and so that box that box fire. Ain't that much box, ain't that much fire in the world, bro. Don't don't <laughs> use it. That that's a hashtag too. Ain't no <laughs> ain't no box that fire. What you trying to say? Box so fire, you start wearing my clothes. What the kind of shit is that? Hey, Z said, yo, I'm with you on that with Z. Now, Z I said, ha- now, I ain't gonna lie, I have grabbed her bra and went titty residue, but I ain't, I ain't never tried to put the girl. I ain't, tried oh, to, Jay, I ain't never tried to put Jay, the shit on. Jay, oh. Jay, Jay. Let's get this Are you having a Kanye West ball, moment? TMI. <laughs> Are you having a Kanye West ball, moment? Definitely TMI. Second of all, don't tell me to read the comments and then you want to start holding the conversation. Okay? George Bush don't like black people. <laughs> Stupid. Um, she said she need to ask him if he if he is bisexual. True. I don't think that said, got him getting who he got him forgetting who he is. The kid said pineapples. I, I don't like pineapples. I'm allergic, but I get where you're going. Payne said he gonna be wearing her skin in a second. Oh damn! Give yeah, Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Um, Jessica said, so he can wear heels and panties, but can't brush his teeth. I'm, I am gay as fuck, but no, you got us fucked up. Fuck your shit. She said, it's giving me Chris Jenner vibes, identity For issues. Sure. Verbal Definitely. said, he did lose his job and he's taking care of him. And she's he's taking care of him. Job. So he just trying to step into his role. Wow. I'm not playing with you. Wow. I'm hey. not. Whoa. He said, um, "Yeah, she's his blueprint. Sounds like he's just with her for tips on how to become who he really is." Whoa. She responded to, Savage. I don't know who's that. He she responded to. She responded to somebody. I can't go back up into the comments, but she said, "Good point." And then she responded to Z by saying, "Oh, she responded to verbal." Then she responded to Z. And said precisely, Omega said identity theft at its finest. Kelly said, No, I checked out at wearing my panties. Yo, <laughs> Rebel said, That's where you lotion out. on the skin. You got out the heels, though, right? <laughs> you check out when he. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, completely. When you went to the bathroom more, you didn't check out then? I'm about to say, not right. brushing his teeth and not showering, not grooming, but you mm. checked out at heat. But oh, like, I mean, time, okay, okay, but time out. Like, she had to threaten to get to bust his windows out if you don't take a bath. Like, she just yeah, like that's him. extreme. Like, right? Like, you, like, you scared of water that much? <laughs> but no, like right. she just is crazy because you don't bust it to get windows out just to make the nigga bat- bathe. Like, nigga, if you don't get your dirty ass on too, right? Uh, Payne said, bro, 
bro needs to step out the closet pain we have come to the conclusion that he is not in the closet he is out there and he is sitting he's on the, the couch at this he's, point he's in the kitchen standing at the, the oh, corner where he's in the building on. I'm in full abracement. Making grants. In full abracement. Uh, corner with his heels on. Jessica said he needs to understand the assignment and he failed. Yeah. Verbal said he might be wanting to get his TikTok followers up. Verbal, I'm about to put you in the corner. No, he, 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 he can go there. He's in the corner. <laughs> he, he no, he's going to be in the corner with them. You ain't coming out to next week, to, to two weeks from now, bro. Just stay uh, there. Verbal said, well, I have seen some meth heads looking real suspect. The crackhead who sold me my PlayStation had on some glitter Uggs and a corset. <laughs> <laughs> he also said, Firebox, what have you doing dumb shit? Look at Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Not me. Not uh, me. <laughs> Jessica, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Jessica said, not bathing, but wearing my panties, trying to mess up my pH balance. (laughs) And Kelly said, laugh my ass off, Jessica. Okay, y'all, listen. I'm sweet. We have come to an end, and I'm glad that you guys have enjoyed the show. Go back and watch if you just came in and you missed what was going on. You can still comment, like, and share. Um, We're going to go to everybody for our closing remarks, starting with Heather. Okay, as put stated, uh, like, comment, and share. I mean, the comments blew the fuck up. So as, I'm sorry, as put and Gerald stated before, we will be doing these shows a lot more, um, of course, periodically, but we will be definitely doing another show like this very soon. Um, final words. Pay attention to the people you date. <laughs> like, pay attention to the people that you're talking to, you give your life to, you give your energy to. You don't know if you're wasting your time. Um, well, clearly most of these motherfuckers know that they're wasting your time. But understand that you need to look at the red flags because you'll fuck around and end up in a 20-year-old side chick relationship and don't know what to do about it except extorting money from your dude. So watch what you guys do out there, please. That's terrible advice. I'm about to say, that's the way you end the show? Me? You a bear on the sandwich. You a bad motor scooter for that one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what yes. are your final remarks? As as is, as is stated, you know, like, like I always say at the end of the show, like, y'all people... Everyone in the comment section, y'all are the real MVPs of the show. Like, for real, for real. Because y'all... Some of y'all responses be off the wall, and it it keeps us it keeps us highly entertained. So please, whenever whenever these segments come up, man, feel free to don't don't stop showing that same support in the comment section. And as far as my closing remarks, oh my god, dude, stop stop glorifying. Remedi- remedial shit and stop and stop and stop being okay it's pretty much long story short stop shortchanging yourself when you shortchange yourself you devalue yourself not only as a person but also but also the person within so know your worth mm. know your worth respect yourself and don't and please just don't don't become too don't become too devalued to where you begin to lose yourself Talk your and i'm keeping at that talking okay rebel <laughs> let's go jay <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fuck y'all for laughing. <laughs> I was laughing. Say something profound to go with that scarf. <laughs> okay. First and foremost, um, we've had a lot of new people in here tonight. We fucking appreciate y'all. We had a lot, a lot of first time people who came in. I can't say the other words because these four will make fun of me. So. We appreciate 
everyone who showed up for the first time who comment y'all showed out in the fucking comments as everyone else has stated we appreciate that continue bring friends so they can talk they shit as well in these comments and they can also give their point of view in life and um far as my final remarks <sighs> I don't have no final remarks because a lot of these fucking stories are stupid. These people are fucking stupid. <laughs> this shit here was this shit here was probably the worst shit I've heard far as stories go. And quite frankly, it just made it it, it it it'll make me appreciate my family and my friends a lot more because I just don't I I, I can't understand how a person can be in some, you know what? Woosa. <laughs> Next person. <laughs> Thank you. Aaron. Um first and foremost, I'd like to like thank Gerald for wearing that Mr. Roger Scarf from his collection <laughs> tonight. <laughs> It's a sweater, you jack. Wait, wait to catch me before I can't. I can't get you back. Okay. No, all seriousness, um, I would, I, I do want to say, um, cheating pieces is at, a, is at an all time high in 2022. So, um, look out, look at that, look out for that all the rest of the year. Um, no, seriously, um, I'm, I'm speechless. Um. For the people who wrote who wrote these letters to us, I do appreciate your uh, your vulnerability. I do appreciate you writing in. Um, I, I would say open your eyes. I do want to kind of repeat what Meek said: know your worth, uh, know know your respect level. Um, no one deserves to be treated less than. We're all human beings, no matter what we believe in, whether same sex, uh, heterosexual. You still you still are a person. You still deserve the ultimate respect. So. Um, if someone's not showing you that respect, you need to go out, you know get your life together and go get that respect you deserve. Um, and that goes for male, for men and females. So, with that being said, I do appreciate everybody from watching tonight, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next show. Nice. You, call nice. Me, you, you say I got Mr. Rogers sweater, but you talking like him. Go ahead, Professor. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Pause. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man. Ahead, um, yeah. I want to say thank you to all the new people, all of the people that's been rocking with us from day one who are still in here. We appreciate y'all. Um, just know, like everybody else say, know your value, know your worth. Um, if you're going to cheat, cheat in peace. But please, for all you women who want to be side chicks, because at this point, that's what y'all want to be, know your fucking role. That's all I'm saying. Because y'all want to be side pieces. It's not like, oh, I didn't know. No, y'all wanted to be side pieces because you stuck around. Know your role. Like they said, on borrowed time. You get in where you fit in. Plain and simple. But on another note, it's time for us to say goodbye. Love y'all. And we out. Okay.